welcome to this Fibrific Live Craft and Chat. Uh, it's been another big, big week here. Well, big week of me not feeling great. So it's everything feels bigger than it probably is. Do you guys ever have weeks like that where everything just feels insurmountable? Well, that's kind of that's kind of where I am at. I've just realized my mobile phone, which is all the way over there, is not on mute. So hang on one second. I've just got to fix that. Hopefully that didn't change anything too much because the other problem that we're having today is the connection cable to my internet is broken. So we are on a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, so not my favorite way to stream everybody, as you know, not my favorite way to stream. Um, so we are going to be fingers crossing that it is working. Um, I did just have to pull the phone away from the window and maybe I didn't put it back enough. I'm just going to push over a little more. Um, we are having some problems with the stream quality, so I'm sorry about that, you guys. Hopefully it doesn't stop. Um, you all know how I feel about stream quality. I like it to be an enjoyable experience for everybody. I do not like to see the little red square of doom appear on my screen. Um, so fingers crossed that the storm stays away because that will affect my 5G hotspot. <laughs> so hello to everybody who's here in the chat. How are you all? Yeah, it was a bit of an extreme close up. Sorry about that. Had to lean over. Had to lean over. Um, it was only while I was touching it. Yeah. Um, the other thing is I really don't want it to be raining because my mobile phone's basically hanging out the window. Uh, it, 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 it should be okay if it just rains straight down, but if it like comes in sideways. There could be problems. There could be problems. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry, Louie. Where are you, mate? He's down here. He's down on this side today. We have Louie in the house. He has had his morning zoomy, so hopefully he is feeling uh, a little less zoomy. Um, I'm, I'm totally body blocking you, Louie. Hang on a second. Which way have I got to go? That way. <laughs> there we go. So, got to let the dog in the shot, you know. Um, so, welcome to everybody in the chat. Sorry, Lou, I can't. I can't do it. Kim would be screaming that I'm not in the middle. So, I'm just going to sit off middle just a little. Um, look, technically the phone, it has got some waterproof rating. But, you know, I'm paranoid about these things. It's like all the things crashing down. So, this week, all the insurmountable things. All the insurmountable things. Um... One thing that I did this week, which was just such an amazing and good thing, so much good feeling in my heart, was I was able to go and teach um, some amazing knitters at the Yarn Bowl. Um, oh, sorry, they're the knitters now. Amazing people how to knit. So there are five new knitters in the world this week. Um, well, there's, I'm sure there's way more than five, but there's five that I'm 100% certain of. Uh, so, Game Widow says, dog is the reason I'm here. Did you hear? Oh, Louis moved to the other side. He would like his shot, please. He's eating his toys. So that's, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, so I was able to do this amazing teaching um, and had such a good time with it and just felt really, it was, I really was worried that it's been a long time since I've taught in person, right? Last time I taught in person was Marja Craft Camp last year where I flew to New Zealand in March before the COVID got bad. Um, and so I, I got back just in time, which was nice, but that was the last time I taught. And so I, I was concerned, I was worried that I would have lost my patience or... Or things like that because when you're teaching especially beginners you've got to be really patient and calm and because you guys remember what it was like when you first knitted you had enough of your own inner negative thoughts you didn't need somebody else going mm, mm, like at your work all the time so uh, I, I don't like to be that kind of teacher I like to be the encouraging teacher who helps you to win that's what I like to do and um, so I wanted to, these women to walk away winners and I feel like they possibly did. It seemed that they did. I don't know how they really felt. They said they felt good. But what I wanted to talk about is that um, coming up very soon, 
the Crochet Guild of Australia are having their first conference. So the Crochet Guild of Australia is relatively new compared to the Crochet Guild of America. Um, and they're having their very first conference up here on the Sunshine Coast. And as some of you know, I've been preparing to get ready to go and teach at that event. Um, and they released the tickets yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. So I wanted to maybe answer any questions that anybody had in relation to the Crochet Guild's ticket release. Um, just clarify a couple of things. I know that um, while they have tried to make things clear, different people think of things a different way. So if you were considering going, I highly recommend it. I think it's going to be a fun weekend. Me and a couple of mates have booked a house. We're going to make a whole weekend out of it. Um, and so what we're going to do, like what we've done is we, we booked a house from Airbnb. Um, and so we're staying on the Sunshine Coast for the weekend. It's going to be so nice. Like fingers crossed we have good weather. Um, and then I, uh, I'll be teaching the, I can't remember which ones, I can't remember which days are days, but on one afternoon I'll be teaching spindle spinning and on another afternoon I'll be teaching, um, crochet, the crochet face washer, you know, the, the, this one, the Tunisian face washer that we um, had looks at, we've been looking at. So if you want to learn how to make this, go and book into that class. Now, what I wanted to clarify is that when you go to the Crochet Guild website and you head off to the Eventbrite to buy your tickets, you need to make sure that you purchase a conference pass for the either for the days that you're going to be there or the weekend. Because buying workshop tickets does not allow you entry, if that makes sense. So you need to buy your conference pass and then any workshop tickets. If you want to attend the um, the banquet, you need to purchase those tickets separately again because everything's optional so everybody can tailor make their weekend to exactly what they want. So um, if you can only come up for a day, you just buy a day pass to the conference and any workshops that you can get into that day. So my workshops won't be running every day or anything like that. There'll be one workshop for the for the crochet and one workshop for the spinning. So one is Friday and one is Saturday. So if you can only make it on the Sunday, you just have to come and say hi to me in the market room where my stall will be and Kim will be there as well. So Spanachik's gonna come up and help out for the entire weekend. Spanachik has clarified some things for me. Friday is spinning and Saturday is a Tunisian workshop. So, um, so please, if you can do this and come and visit. I had a message from a friend saying, can we heckle? Of course you can heckle. It's not a classroom that I'm in unless someone's being silly. And if it's you, then I can be all profesh. Um, is that Tim's Nook Couch? Yes, it is. So I think Jackie, because you've been working and stuff, you may have missed a couple of things. What's happened is Tim's dad was giving, um, getting rid of some really nice chairs that we thought would look pretty swanky in our living room. So we went, yeah, we'll have them. Thanks very much. But, and that meant that we needed to do a chair shuffle around. And so the chair from the lounge room is now in Tim's nook. And Tim's, Tim's nook chair is now out here for Louie to be all cute and sleepy on. Hello, Louie. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's basically where that is going. I'm looking here and I'm like, I could totally put a webcam there to face behind me, right? Am I the only one who plans this sort of thing? Like, hmm, um, you guys can't see through me, but I could totally make a webcam so that there's, so that we can have Louis. Snowy doesn't want to come in anymore. Every time I try to get her to come in, she sits on the step and just looks at me like, nah, I'm not going to be a monkey and dance on command. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> lots of wine talk. It's a bit early for wine for me. I'm just scrolling back through the chat, you guys, just to see what's going on. Uh, Spanachik says, oh my God, teaching is not amazing. K Kim just taught um, a, a, a weekend of cricket camp. So I think she's feeling a little sore from that. Casey here is sick on the couch. Oh my gosh. Kids are the worst for sharing germs, honestly. They're such germy little monsters. Absolutely. Um, lots of wine talk. I'm just going to scroll past the wine talk. It's a bit early for me. Um, Dizzy is also teaching a workshop. That's awesome. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so there's lots of locals who will be teaching and so it's going to be a really fun event. So if you've got any questions, oh sorry, sorry, Kim wasn't teaching, she was coaching because that's totally different. Uh, so um, it could be because I locked her in there. I mean, that was one time, one time, you know, and it was because she wouldn't like, I just, she was so quiet. I didn't even know she was here and she may have been locked in here for like an hour while I went and did school run. She was safe. Seriously. Um, she's taken to sleeping under the shack. So the other day she's come out like white dog under the, the shack. It's all dirt under here now. The grass is long dead. And uh, she just lays there just, and she's sort of, like squirms out because she only just fits. So squirms out. She's covered in dirt and was shocked and horrified that she had to have a bath but she's been such a happy dog since she had a bath so hate bars but i'm going to be happy after one totally don't understand it so what i was going to do today um because my brain is still not quite where it needs to be okay i'm not going to lie to you guys i'm still sleeping a lot um i'm needing after I'm, i need naps just to get through the evening <laughs> Like, it's it's just insanity. We don't really know what's going on. We know it's not my iron, so that's nice. Um, uh, I'm just very tired. And uh, so my, my doctor gave, you know how doctors give you that plan and you're just like, like, I see where you're coming from, but I can't see how me as a wife and mother can arrange for an entire day a week with no... Um, no work, like no fibrific work, no family work, just an outing of something I want to do. Like in the chat, put your hand up if as a mom or somebody who is busy that you can just turn everything off for one day every single week and give yourself some me time. So what I'm trying to do, which is a little more realistic, is give me a couple of hours a week of me time. Um, kind of like when we, did, when we used to do the... Um, the caffeinated crafters up at ikea that was my me time so once a fortnight i get to go out with my friends and craft and talk and eat ikea meatballs like who doesn't love ikea meatballs um and that was my me time but since covid happened and we can't do it yet like we've got to be able to do it soon right like when i don't know i'll have to check ikea and see if we're allowed back in yet but um, I really kind of miss it. Jen Deal said it's 7.15 Wednesday for her. It's totally wine time for you, Jen. Totally wine time. Um, so, yeah, I'm just having a quick look in here. Book into a massage once a week. That would be nice. I kind of did like the massages that I was getting, but my massage lady has moved on. I'll have to find another one again. Uh, oh, so I'm merching hard today, everybody. Merching hard. I've got my fiberific mug that I am loving. I realized that this guy was just sitting in the background, which is with a medium sized pencil case. And I've got the small pencil case with all my hooks hanging out of it with my scissors and, and what else is in there? Chibis and all that sort of stuff just hanging out in there, ready for me to craft. Die wench, what is this me time you speak of? Even though I'm sitting here watching you, I'm more because I... That's the thing. That is the thing, isn't it? Even though we can sit and do something, we're normally planning or thinking or working on something else to do with the family. So, um, can you clarify moved on? Oh, no, I can't. All I know is that she's not there anymore. Um, that's all I know. So, yeah, I can't. Clar I was thinking moved on, and then I remember what we were talking about. All right, so I'm going to drop into our hands down. So if you guys have got any questions or you want to talk about anything in particular, just let me know. I'm just going to be doing, I've just got some Finch um, Worcester Cotton or Templar Cotton. I'm going to be going with a four and a half mil, I think. Oh, I might go... Yeah, four and a half mil. I think this one's four and a half. Yep. My, my red tulip. I'm still not sold on this, you guys. Because I'm used to these and they're just that little bit like 
squishier. I'm used to the clover and mort. They're a little squishier. And even these tulips are squishy. But this tulip is just that little bit, a little bit firmer. Oh, not passed away. No, sorry. I don't believe she has passed away. I'm not 100% certain about that, but I don't believe she has. So, yeah. So, these, these guys are just that little bit firmer. And I find that their grip is just not quite where I like my grip. Like, it's... See how this one curves around? I can put my thumb in there a lot easier because it comes in on the edge of the curve. Whereas this one is more rectangular... And where my thumb wants to go in there, it's not close enough down. I need it there. So it just it just feels different. All right? Not bad. Just not what I'm used to. What are you? Are you a four and a half? No, you're a three and a half. No, I don't have any of the four and a halves here. I mean, I have a bucket load of four and a half clovers in stock. I could just go and give myself another one because I may have accidentally bought six boxes instead of six hooks. So there's a million of them in stock. So if you need a four and a half mil... Oh, one thing I wanted to clarify before I, you know, go down this rabbit hole is, oh, so Kim's just literally popped a thing up. With the workshops, are any materials included? The answer is no. Okay. Um, Spanish Chick says, assuming when you book in, you'll get a requirements list. Now, I gave them requirements lists and I don't know why they're not appearing. So I'm going to clarify this for you guys who are listening in here. And I will try and talk to CGA and see what we can do. To make the crochet entrelac face washer, you will need to bring two skeins of contrasting yarn. Now, it doesn't have to be cotton because this can also, because we start at the middle, you can make it into a blanket, whatever. But I just make face washer size things because, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with face washers. Um, and so if you just want to make something this size, I would recommend that you get your cotton. Now... I'm using um, the fiddle sticks because I'm currently obsessed with it. Uh, you will need a four. I can't remember if I used a four and a half or a five. It'll be in the notes, but I'll double check. I think it's a a four and a half mil hook because even though it's Tunisian, I wanted it to be dense. Okay, so we've got the four and a half mil hook, but you don't need a Tunisian hook. One of these is fine as long as it can take seven chains you're fine okay so it doesn't need to be a proper tunisian hook so i would say for 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 most people a four and a half will be fine um if you are a particularly tight crocheter then go the five okay so um the finch cotton all right is a 10 ply so for me, I'm a loose crocheter and I used a four and a half mil on a 10 ply. So that's got to, you got to get that thinking in there. All right. So something you could do is because it's your standard hooks, you could bring a couple and have a play with it. Um, so um, that's what you need for that. For, for, the, uh, for the spindle workshop, I will have a class set of spindles available for use on the day. You cannot take them away. But you can use them for the workshop. There will be fiber available to purchase. I will just have some plain undyed. It'll be very inexpensive. I'll just have some little class packs. I'm talking under five dollars. Very inexpensive. But you can bring your own fiber if you want. Um, and if anyone wants to bring their own fiber, they can message me and I can double check. I have clarified no alpaca to be in my classrooms. Uh, because I'm allergic to alpaca and I won't be able to teach everybody if somebody decides they want to spin their own alpaca. So there is no alpaca allowed in my classrooms. Um, uh, so, uh, but or available to purchase if you want will be Marja Craft Turkish spindles. So we all know how I feel about the Marja Craft Turkish. I love them to pieces. Um, so if you want to buy one of those, you can. You can buy it before the class so you can learn on it or you can buy it after our workshop class spindles are the are Marja Craft class spindles so they're slightly different but not by much okay uh, Kim's tossing up some questions here if you are do not doing workshops is there any benefit in getting a conference pass as opposed to the day trip pass um, okay so 
Conference Pass will also include your, um, there's a goodies bag. Now, I was chatting last night um, with some people from CGA and the goodies bag sounds phenomenal, okay? So it sounds like it's got some really cool stuff in it. So if you're going to be, if you're planning to make a weekend of it like I am, then I would buy the three-day conference pass. But if you are planning just to go for a single day, just buy a day pass. That's really what it boils down to. Um, so, yeah, and, and that's the thing, Kim. They're going to be working on some of the clarification of the wording. Um, so the, the, the day trip only gives you access to the market hall. The conference pass gives you access to the conference. But I'm not sure what that means besides the workshops, to be honest me neither it's because as far as i know there is the workshops oh oh okay no no if you get a conference pass your morning tea is included every day as well so um that's included as well and that was something that wasn't clear so if you get the conference pass your morning tea is included every day your you get your goodies bag um so uh dizzy says some workshops have homework as well um I'm not sure about that. None of mine do. So you'd need to make sure you're reading very carefully about the requirements. I know if you're doing the teach the teachers instructors program, there will be a lot of homework, and you need to make sure it is all done before you get there. Every single thing. Um, there are single day conference passes and single day trip passes. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to have a look and find out what the difference is. Um, I would, if the conference, whichever one is the more expensive, will probably include the morning tea. Um, that is perplexifying. I don't know the answer to that one. Um, if there is a class before you yours, do you make sure there's no alpaca dust on the table? No, I will be. Um, there's someone will be coming and checking the rooms in between to make sure. Um, Yeah, that's right. Uh, Fifteen dollar difference, and that's probably morning tea. Uh, I'm gonna guess. I'm guessing. Uh, I will find. I'll. I'll get them to clarify it because if it's not clear, then it's not clear. It's that simple. But um, for me, I'm doing the weekend, so I would go to the weekend conference pass, get you everything, including there's a Friday night meet and greet. Um, so that will be fun as well so many fun things so many fun things there's also a saturday night uh banquet which is optional nobody has to go um and uh yeah so you've got your saturday night banquet i think they've got that at, is that 50 dollars for members and that's a two course meal and i don't know what it includes i haven't really looked into it that much because i'm just like i'll go i'm going to all the things um, if I'm going to make a weekend of it, I'm making a weekend of it. Um, oh, that includes the goodie bag as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. But, yeah, $15 sounds like an expensive morning tea, but if you've been to a coffee shop and picked yourself up morning tea lately, you don't get much change out of $15 these days. Um, but, yeah, so have I answered all the questions about what is required for my workshops because I can only answer in relation to my workshops I can't answer for the other instructors um, so yeah so you would learn how to do this you need your four and a half mil and contrasting yarns um, and then for the spindling workshop you can bring your own spindle if you want you don't have to use a class spindle but you can bring your own if you want there's fluff available if you want to get that but again optional you can bring your own fluff um, I would recommend sliver um, because it's a bit easier to draft and we're going to be talking about all sorts of preparations and things as well all my workshops are three hours each so um, that means I've got time to answer questions and, and make sure everyone's got a solid you know like they feel like they're winning um, Well, I don't know what it is, Jackie. I have no idea. I, it's being done in a conference centre, so I don't know if it would be just an instant coffee and a biscuit. Um, Kim says, the dinner has a guest speaker and a fashion parade. Absolutely. Um, just checking to make sure that everyone's safe. In the USA, I've never gone to a conference in the US or Australia. Yeah, in Australia, they don't usually do the clean between sessions. Um 
but I think because of COVID, they're really cracking down on it because they really want this event to run. So they're working really hard to make sure it's covering all the COVID practices. If you are outside of Queensland and you buy tickets, I'm not quite sure you would need to check the refund policies. I'm not certain of it. I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, and lucky door prices and cash bar. Kim's like cash bar, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going there, Louie? Oh, you are slugged out, aren't you? So uh, just as a, a Louie update, um, he went to the vet yesterday, first time at our vet, and um, he is doing good. He's the right weight for his size. Also this morning, his, he was particularly hyper because he's worked out how to get up on the couch by himself now. Um... An open bar would suit Kim better. Dizzy's workshop has homework. Dizzy, you need to make sure that that's really clear. Um, okay, so you need to go through and double check it. Because you don't want people turning up not having done their homework. Okay, now I'm just doing my stock standard boring half double crochet face washer because that's about all I can do. Um, Spanichick says the thing to watch with Eventbrite is that you get a refund for things but they don't refund the Eventbrite fee. Okay, I did not know that. That's a bit sneaky Eventbrite. I wonder what their fee's like. Bunch of stinkers. Um... So yeah, turns out I can't answer many questions. I thought I had lots down, but you guys have got some good curly questions and I'm making a list of ones that I can ask to make sure things are clarified on the website and on the event right pages um, and go from there. So this time round, I'm just going to do a stripe on stripe. So what I'm doing is I'm going to change to the pink at the end of this row. So it's like one row pink, one row gray. So that's what I'm doing. Ah, oh, do you know what? I, I regret. I regret when I was at the yarn bowl the other day not buying myself more Finch because this is all I've got left is these two colours. Um, so I might have to hit Mean Mother's, which is my local yarn store, and go and get me some more because I love it very much. Um, it's, how do I describe it? It's a similar softness to the Bendigo Cotton way more color choices honestly i think bendigo really lets itself down with its color choices um and yeah i oops i need to change the color where's the pink hello end of pink um okay so it says the, it, the workshop pricing is not... Some of the workshops are six-hour workshops, so they are a full-day workshop. You don't get to um, pick two separate workshops or anything like that. There are some six-hour workshops, which are full-day workshops. Um, so when you click on it, it'll populate it with what's, uh, what's in there, if that makes sense. Um, do you know if the US has Finch Yarn? Well, it's a fiddlesticks. Um, it's distributed by Tex Yarns, which I think is an American yarn company. I could be wrong. Oh, it's a PL Proprietary Limited, so maybe it's not. Because you guys have you don't you don't really do the Proprietary Limiteds. I can't answer that question. I don't know. Connect does Finch. So it's a Fiddlesticks knitting yarn and Finch cotton is their cotton. So maybe look up fiddlesticks and see if fiddlesticks are available somewhere nearby. Um, all right, I'm turning. Turning. So something I did this week was I caught up on the episodes that I had missed of um, oh, my brain's totally blanking out on me. WandaVision. 
I'm not going to do any spoilers, but oh my god, if you have not watched WandaVision, you need to go and watch WandaVision, okay? Um, the first few episodes I was sitting there a bit like, what? Um, and luckily for me, I'm a Patreon member of Heroes Reforged. And so they were doing live walkthroughs. Like, so basically you could have their podcast playing and it was timestamp matched. And so they could be like, oh my God, this is just like in this co in this comic. And so they were able to sort of bring some of it in for me. Some of it I kind of knew some of the history of, um, but it clarified some of it for me. But it was just intense. The last few episodes were just like my little mum tears were like, oh. It was very hard, but it was, um, it was definitely worth watching. It was a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, truth be known. Sally doesn't have Disney Plus. Oh no, Sally, you can't watch it then. Um, but no, it was definitely a good one. I've I've started watching. I'm finally on the bandwagon. All right, you guys. I've started watching The Orville. Um, it's currently on the Disney Plus Star. Uh, we were able to do that sneaky upgrade where we just paid less than standard Disney Plus and it gave us the upgrade for a year. And the Orville's in there. And, and I hadn't caught it when it was on television in Australia. I'd sort of, I missed the first couple of episodes and then I was just like, I don't like to miss episodes of a new show and then just skip them out. Um, it was just, it was one of those sort of, Oh, I'm, I'm a numpty, aren't I? I need a second end of grey to be able to do what I want to do. <sighs> All right, it's stupid. I'm dumb. It's fine. My brain's not working. You guys knew this exactly was going to happen, didn't you? You knew exactly what was going to happen. Anyway, um, and the Orville has been fantastic. It's kind of like Star Trek. You guys know how much I love Star Trek. Um, except it just feels more like, it feels more like what Star Trek would realistically feel like. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It just, it's funny. It's very funny and it's definitely worth watching. So if you haven't seen the Orville yet, I think you can still watch it, bits and pieces of it on the SBS catch up channel thing, whatever that is in Australia. And it's on Disney plus if you've got access to Disney plus. So it was really good. I enjoyed that. Kim says, One Division was one of those things you had to make it through the first couple of eps because the rest would make sense. Yeah, absolutely. You didn't need, and, and I didn't listen to the walkthroughs after the fourth episode because I was just so engrossed in it. I didn't want to be interrupted. Um, so fourth episode or third? It might have been the fourth. Um, but yeah, you just have to make it first. like Because you're sort of, the episode ends and you're just like, what just happens? Like, what? Are they, what? <laughs> Um, and so it's good like that. It was, it was, look, it was one of those mind bending, interesting shows. Um, and I loved it. I loved all of it. And I'm, I'm like really hoping there's a season two. I don't know if there will be, but I'm really hoping there will be. Um, we've got some fun and interesting stuff. Oh gosh, I'm telling my brain is not being my friend, you guys. Um, I'm going to have to put a border on this one because I'm going to have like little carry threads. I wanted no thread carrying things. Ugh. No, that's not what happened. Oh, what I might do is bring that one and twist it. So that at least the pink's a bit closer to the top. Oh. Um... Did you watch every episode to the very end? Yes, I did. Because Marvel's notorious for adding little sneaky bits into the credits. There are no plans for a season two. No, I didn't think they would be. Um, and yeah, you've got to watch right to the end of the credits because you're just like, oh. um, according to Grace, the first season of WandaVision leads up to the next Doctor Strange movie. Okay, that makes sense actually with how it ended. It totally makes sense. Um, tell me the male character in One Division. Has he been in? Yes, he has. That's Vision, and he was. He started appearing in the Marvel franchise in um, Age of Ultron. 
he appeared at the end of Age of Ultron. So, yes. So that is Vision, who is played by Paul Bettany, um, who is hilarious. He is so funny. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying not to do any spoilers. I haven't spoiled anything. Anyone who's watched it, do you feel like I spoiled anything in WandaVision there? I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't watched it yet. It definitely is worth watching, even if you're not into that genre, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, it's just a really good fantasy drama sort of thing. Fantasy because of the whole Marvel Universe thing. Um, Jarvis, yeah, his, his voice is Jarvis. So he's in all of the... the um, He's, he's in all of the Iron Man movies as Jarvis, which is the voice of the um, of Tony Stark's AI computer thing. Um, I keep there we go. Kim's put in where Vision was, but as just Jarvis, he was in all in, in a whole pile of others. So yeah. Um, but I'm also watching, which has been excellent for my brain of dumb. Walker, Texas Ranger. I'm now halfway through season four. Um, I originally started watching the old Walker, Texas Ranger because I was, um, I was perplexed. I started watching the new Walker, Texas Ranger, which has got, what's his name, from Supernatural. Um, Jared Padalecki, is that, pa I want to, I want to say that's what his name is. I have no idea. Um, and, um, so, yeah, I was watching... Um, that, that, and I was sort of like the very first episode, I was a bit like, that doesn't seem right. I don't remember that in the old series. Um, so, um, yeah, so I was just like, oh, hang on. I should go back and rewatch the old ones and see what the thing was. And I was like, no, no, definitely didn't see any of that, um, it, like what was showing up in the first episode of the new one and then I, I did a bit of reading and a bit of research and what it is is because because cops beating up people to a pulp with ninja kicks is, is frowned upon now which you know so it should be oh here comes a rain you guys the sky is so black out there um They've, they've changed up the storyline a little bit. So the new Walker is not half Native American. And, oh my God, that rain is so loud. Can you hear it? Um, you can totally cast Disney to your television if it's a smart TV. So, um, yeah, it, it allows you to do that. Um... But yeah, so they've, they've made some changes and so I was just like, okay, well that makes sense then. So they've, they've, they have changed the storyline and, and things like that to make him damaged instead of being um, parentless as a boy and moved in with his uncle. Um, he, it, there's a different sad story, which I won't be giving away. Uh, Spanner Chick is saying Falcon and Winter Soldier is coming in a week. Yes, it is. Yeah, the rain is very loud. It's only just started. I have a tin roof and the tin roof is literally like not even a metre and uh, maybe two metres maximum from my microphone. So if it gets very loud, we may have to bail. Um, so, yeah, it's it's one of those things. I've just realised I wasn't even watching if my hands were on camera. Um, yeah. <laughs> So there's lots of lots of interesting and cool stuff coming out on streaming and there's a ton of shows I want to watch but my brain's not really being kind like I'm struggling to retain information a little which is bugging me no end honestly um last night actually my husband a friend of mine's just picked up a Cricut maker and I was showing my husband and daughter what he'd made with it like straight away and my husband says to me you haven't done much with your cricket lately. And I'm like, because my brain won't let me. Um, but what I did get is I got some new blades. I got a fabric, a bonded fabric blade and a knife blade so I can cut 
things. It's like a little Stanley knife. I don't know if you can see that. A little Stanley knife. The sound of the rain is good. It's just, I probably would prefer it not to be thundering right now. Sally, you can do what I do and just rotate through the streaming services. You don't get any deals for being loyal usually. Like we we did just sign up to a 12 month Disney Plus, but everything else we're a month to month with, and we just drop one out, bring a different in, different one in, change them around. Um, it's so loud. Oh my gosh. I'm so in a way I'm kind of glad you guys aren't like actually verbalizing back to me because I wouldn't be able to hear you I just wouldn't be able to hear you it's so loud um I'm hoping the, yeah we've still got green everything's still going here good um I struggled to sleep last night I'd had a nap yesterday afternoon as I do at the moment um I basically get home from school run and just lay down and sleep until 6 30. um <laughs> but um, I ended up, um, there was a phone update is what happened. Oh, Lisa's not here. <laughs> um, and there was a phone update and it's changed where all my audio books were and I couldn't find my stinking audio book that I, I listen to like every single night that helps me to sleep. It's, it is coming in waves, Kim, you're right. So this is what we've got so far. Pink and grey stripes. We'll put a little a little border on it to cover this mess that is my color work changing because I keep forgetting to hook up the yarn which I've fixed up this time because I've remembered. Oops, I want to do that and then change. Um, yeah, the, the, this is just no, no, the rain is coming in waves. At the moment, it's just pelting down, absolutely pelting down. Like, I would not want to walk outside right now without an umbrella. Let's just say that. Um, yeah. It is rain thundering on my roof. Is it bearable is the question. I could hear like dripping water, but it must be just outside because I've got a wall just here and it must just be what's dripping down the wall. Sounds like you're on a boat under the deck. Oh my gosh. At the moment, it feels like it. I don't think it'll be long before I can measure the toe levels of the water outside. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have a question. How many of you in the live chat are iOS users? So you either have an iPad or a um, or an iPhone. Oh, hello, keyboard. Wow, terrifying. I think Lisa was trying to write it does, doesn't it? So Sally does. Sally's got an iPhone. Because I'm seriously contemplating starting a yarn crafters room over on Clubhouse um, where we could just sit and chat with just our phones. It's not a video option. So if I'm all sweaty and gross, um, then it doesn't matter. And we can all talk to each other like a big, like a big party line. Um, Sally has a Mac laptop as well, yeah, but you can't use Clubhouse on um, on computer. It's an iOS app only. 
Okay, so there's a couple. There's a couple. All right. But we do like to be able to show our stuff. Yeah, we do. You're right, Kim. And that's where Zoom is an advantage for sure because we can actually all show our things. But the advantage with Clubhouse is I can slob on the couch with my feet up in a, in, in a, in a singlet <laughs> on a hot day and just listen to everybody talk and, and chat. And so, all right. Well, those of you that have got the iOS device, you should go and check out Clubhouse. It's not on Android yet. There is a Clubhouse app on Android. It's not this Clubhouse app. All right, so just be aware. It's not the same. Um, um, oh my God, the rain is so loud. You should see it. I could just about not see out the window. It's just a big sheet. You can do that with Zoom too. You can, yeah, sort of. It's not the same. Um, Jackie says, being driving and just checked both seasons of the Orville are on SBS On Demand. That is awesome to know. Thank you, Jackie. So if you're in Australia and you want to watch the Orville, you don't have to have Disney to watch it. You can watch it on SBS Demand. We won't judge. Yeah. I'm just trying to find things that I can currently do, which at this moment, it just feels like there's a lot I can't do, which is bugging me something fierce. So I'm trying to find things I can do. Um... The advantage with Clubhouse over Zoom is that um, any yarn crafters that are on Clubhouse can join in the conversation. So we could make some new friends, whereas Zoom, it has to be locked down and private, otherwise we get Zoom bombers. So, yeah, that's a catch there. Um, hey, Freaky Geek, welcome to the chat. It's a bit slow today because my brain's still not back to all the, all the normal brain levels. We're getting there, hopefully. So, and dun, 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 turn and half double crochet or half treble, depending on where you're from. Oh, I kept doing this dumb thing. Because one of the girls in our class is left-handed, my brain automatically went into left-handed teaching and I kept describing things with the left and right hand but wrong for the right-handers. It was so bizarre. You can disable all participant video as hosts though. Yeah, you can. You can. It's different. It's just different. Um, so, hey Lisa, oh, there we go, let's just make our own place to insert the hook, we don't need to go in the actual proper spot, do we? No, proper spots are overrated. Okay. Um, I want to do that um, I'm assuming the room is always open though so you can just jump in anytime there is no host as such uh, no no there's hosts in um, in in clubhouse um, they're not always open so um, Rebecca was ordering cooking dinner and ordering yarn that sounds like my kind of night I can see Orbs now writing what Fibrific is saying in some of those notes. Oh, my internet is starting to crap out, everybody, because of the wet. Sally. So with Clubhouse, do you actually talk to each other? It's actual talk. It's, it's, a, it's like a phone call. It's like a phone call. Um, um, so, oh, my stream is not going well the rain is too thick and heavy for the 5g signal to get to my phone oh no everybody what do we do um the internet here is dropping out
So hopefully um, we can um, just keep going. We'll see how it goes. It's it's still going. It's just slow. It's just so slow. Um, yeah, no, it's it's me. I've got a, the red box of doom. Although it's yeah, red box of doom, which just lets me know that my um, upload speed is is tanking hard. <laughs> 